Okay, um, this is about Facebook privacy. Um, the reason this is quite important, um, I know within the expat community we have the odd idiot that trolls and steals photos, um, but I also know that some of the posts that people do can be a bit political, religious or whatever, and if you're still working, some of this stuff you don't really want people that shouldn't be searching through your Facebook um, finding it um, but also in photos you sometimes get uh, spam links which um, or hacks where I know some of the guys have had recently several times where they've clicked on something a photo that from somebody they don't know that has then hijacked their um, chats within Facebook. This has resulted in pornography being sent, it's resulted in um, spam sales links going through, all without them knowing um, because it's just it's just Facebook. Facebook has more leaks than a sieve. Um, so this will help you with your security but also help with your privacy. Um, personally I don't mind what people see on my Facebook. Um, there's nothing exciting on there. Uh, it's just general family life and Facebook chatter. Um, I'm not that actually a fan of Facebook, although I do seem to spend too much time on there. But anyway, up on the top here, you'll find that the first menu has create pages. It's all the pages stuff. If you don't know what you're doing with it, don't worry about it. You want to go to the second one where it's just got this little padlock. There you go. Oh, privacy checkup. Privacy checkup. Just if you click on that, it'll just give you a quick guide of what your current settings are in a very um, simple way, as you can see. Who can you see? Who can see your next posts? Mine keeps going in public because my phone for work doesn't have a. Uh, setting on it. it it's um, a Nokia phone um, it's not true it's not an Android uh, system uh, well it's Android but it's Microsoft's version which is slightly um, dated that's the play way of putting it because I have issues with several things um, Skype's the same I have problems with Skype because Skype doesn't have the functionality of my Samsung or the computer. There's some things that just don't work properly. So anyway, just change that to friends. Let's just click next. We'll do it the basic way first. And then, as you can see here, my apps, it tells you which apps I'm using, who can see that I'm using them, etc. I'll go through these, because like I said, I've got nothing to hide from anybody. Uh, like these phone numbers, they're actually out of date. Um, I just haven't changed them yet. But you got my emails and stuff there. Nothing I need to hide from anybody. Uh, yes, you got my date of birth there. But as you can see, my hometown isn't my real hometown and stuff. So there's nothing to steal. Because um, I do put random information in there, by the way. Uh, so we close that. So that's the basic one, just to see what some of your settings are. But let's go. We actually want to go to the main privacy. Now, let's have this. I'm sure it's in the first menu. There you go. See, you go to settings, not privacy settings. Settings. You probably go, well, what's different? Well, the first thing is you can see there's a lot more features on the left here. Um, as you can see, there's my basic information. I've got no networks connected. Um, all this is pretty obvious what this is. So I'm not going to bore you with stuff you already know. Uh, security. Logging notifications. So if somebody tries to access my account, it will email me. Um, it will send me a message saying, oh, somebody's tried to access you from Angola, for example. If it doesn't recognize it um, or it's been multiple attempts, it will tell me. Uh, this one, it uses the a phone where it will actually send a PIN number to a phone number. Um, it's, um, I don't generally use this because I'm not too fussed on Skype, Skype uh, Facebook's, Facebook's just what it is. It's just junk as far as I'm concerned. But what it would actually do is if it didn't recognize your computer or your IP, it would actually send a four digit code to your phone 
maybe more more digits um, just to say type this in on the screen just to say it's you um, there you go security codes when you need them that's the same thing it's all tied in with that login approval uh, passwords for your your apps instead of using your Facebook password so it's got another set of passwords there pick friends you can call to get back into your account if you get locked out trusted contacts I haven't used that to be honest um, and to be honest I wouldn't put somebody like that on my Facebook I I just can't see the point um, Facebook is just junk it's not like it's um, information for the bank for example I wouldn't put that stuff in Facebook in the first place so I, I personally I wouldn't need trusted contacts for somebody to go oh I can get them to help me log back in I would ditch Facebook first um, your browsers and apps review which browsers you've saved as what well, as ones you often use why does um, let's have a look let's, let's see what's in here I'd be interested to see see it's all Facebook all that is is basically it's using the Facebook for Android and as you can see it's got different dates and different because there's four different um, Android uh, tablets and phones that use my account so as you can see they're all just saying oh you use the face Facebook app on the your Samsung phone it's not say it, instead of a browser so nothing to see there uh, remove see where you logged in as you can see I've got a fair few locations um, and when I logged in see this is different computers uh, as you can see several of them are in UK two are in Spain uh, got a Windows phone which is my Nokia doesn't know where the location is for that messenger UK, 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 it's when I travel around. There's also C, even France is in there. But you, I bet you're surprised it's got this much information um, because do you really need them seeing it? Uh, let's just end all locations. And that should all be gone. There you go. So I've got rid of the old ones. Deactivate your account, switch it off. Um, it doesn't remove it all it does is switch it off because some people what they what they realize is people get sick of Facebook um, but if you delete it you're less likely to reactivate uh, you know if you've got to go and do the profile pic and do this and do that you're gonna go it's really not worth a hassle I left it already but if you just flick a switch and go two weeks later oh, I wonder how Mary's doing or whatever you can click that back on you just log back in as usual and it, everything's back the way you left it it's just deactivated while you deactivate it um, because if you delete it properly it's very likely you would never use it again because you'll realize how little uh, Facebook actually provides and this is the bit that we're talking about this is the privacy who can see your future posts friends that's the one I changed earlier um, that can be multiples of general public, friends, specific groups, um, close friends, BPO24 which is my call center so there's specific things they see, uh, there's different specific people you can alter it all in there um, I just leave it as friends. Who can send you friend requests? Friend requests is like I say you can leave this as friends of friends so generally you're not going to get random people contact you anyway so remove them because if they're random and not connected to other people in your network it's very likely they could be a spam account or a phishing account you don't need them so just leave that as friends as friends that's what I recommend whose messages do I want to filter in my inbox I put strict strict um, stops most messages even people that are friends of friends cannot contact me directly what happens is they go in a separate mailbox not my inbox but the others because um, there's two mailboxes and then every now and again I go in there and so far I haven't found anybody that's been in the other box that um, would have made any difference um, 
If they're in the other box, 99.9% of those people, I wouldn't talk to anyway. So, you know, they're normally wanting something. You know, they could be a friend of mine has got a relative who's a real estate agent. So they're using my friend to get in contact with me so they can try and sell me a property where Facebook is not that not there for me for that. If I want a property, I'll talk to the real estate agent. The same is when, when real estate agents call me. I turn around and say, don't call me. I'll call you when I want something. Don't, you know, don't keep pestering me. I don't like it. Um, who can look up you using your email address? Now, I believe Facebook can search in three ways. Your username, your email address, and your telephone number. Um, so the people that can look up my email address are friends only. Uh, there you go. You can use uh, my phone number, friends of friends. But like I said, my phone number is around date on here anyway. Do you want search engines to link to your timeline? For me, yes, because in Google, for example, you will actually get me come up on the side. So if you wanted to actually search for me, uh, you could do. I don't mind people contacting me. Uh, I just do not like dr uh, junk mail. So that's why that's said like that. You can contact me uh, through Google indirectly. So basically that's your settings, but we'll go through the other, f other few quickly. Um, tagging, who can add things to my timeline? Only me. Um, it's not me being awkward, it's just that I don't need any junk on my timeline. Um, I put enough junk of, it, of, of my own on there. Uh, review friends, ta tags before we, they appear on your timeline. I get the odd friend that does something stupid. Um, they took a you know, a photo of something and put a comment and then link me through the tags to say, hey, look at this, um, which is nothing to do with me, but they tag me um, and then it would appear in my timeline. Well, with this, it does not appear in my timeline. It sits in like a hold where you review it to say whether it goes in your timeline or not. Um, I put this on because somebody put something stupid on before. Um, I can't remember what it was. But it was sort of inappropriate for the web. Um, well, it's inappropriate for my timeline, let's put it that way. So I just removed it. Who can see what what's on my timeline? Uh, I review everything that goes through it. Um, nobody can, add, like I said, nobody can add anything to my timeline. Everybody who can see posts, only friends. You can see what other posts in your timeline, only friends. Um, that's just my personal um, personal choices. But I would say my profile is me. So what goes on there should be people that know me. It should be with people I connect with, um, not just random. That's why everything's set to friends. Uh, there you go, review tags. People add to your own post before the, the tags appear on Facebook. I also check that because, like I said, I don't like it when people tag something that is not related to myself. So if somebody does it with stuff that's on my timeline, uh, I double check because I don't want people tagging people and getting irritated in the same way I do. So I will stop people being able to share it in that way. Uh, when you're tagging the post, who do you want to add to the audience if they aren't in it? Friends only. That's it. There's nothing beyond that. And this one's actually missing still. Uh, who sees tag suggestions? Uh, so that's that bit. Now we're on the blocking. There's quite a few people in my list. Um, I got my internet troll and a few other people. Um, Quite simply, I just ditch people. Uh, it's like here, I even block invites from my mother. <laughs> the reason is my mother plays the bingo, the uh, 101 games on Facebook. I do not play the games on Facebook. Um, and when you're getting one, two, or maybe 10 invites a week, 
it does get a bit irritating. So rather than block my mother from my Facebook, I just block her from um, from sending me requests for games. Um, and as you can see, there's a load of games blocked. These games I wouldn't have to have blocked if I had blocked the people. Um, they can, as you can see, the requests I get sent are ridiculous. So there, there's loads of them on there. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you found that useful. Um, because a lot of people don't look at the privacy settings. And I think you should home it in because... Not because it's, um, you're worried about people reading or whatever. Some people are, um, for example, in my work position, they might be concerned if I was posting racist things on my um, Facebook or something. Not that I do post racist things, but they would be worried about it, um, which could um, cause problems for work. So those sort of reasons, you would actually home everything in if you wanted to say what you think rather than what people like to hear, um, you can talk amongst your friends only without it getting taken out of context or abused. Um, so there's that side of things. Um, it stops you getting hacked, people phishing your account, people stealing your photos, people uh, basically just abusing the web in every way possible if they can get access. And it does happen, um, and that's that's why I say just have a look at your privacy settings. There may be something you want to tweak, or maybe you think everything's you're okay with everything as it is. But it's just worth taking a look. All right, thanks for watching.